Well, the big singles changed my world. Um, here we have a set in the bass. So, you know what? I'm going to tell you the, the genesis story of how these came about. So, when we started making pickups, we were doing J pickups and P pickups and dual coils. So, we had gotten these covers in from a supplier. And <coughs> obviously, we were going to put dual coils in there because we could fit them in there, like two J pickups, basically. And then I, th I looked at this cover and I thought, I got all that space. What else can I do with all that space? Because um, a J, if I just put a J in there, it seems like I'm wasting a lot of space there. But <coughs> we do that now, actually. We put J pickups in these. They're going to be coming along soon. That's going to be, I think we're going to call it the Jazz Bar because it's a J pickup and a soap bar. Um, so what do I do with that space? This is before angled pole pieces were a thing. Um, and and <laughs> I remember I was working out of my garage at the time. I had just gotten my laser machine. Um, I was influenced by um, F bases. George Ferlinetto has a stack J pickup, a version of a stack J pickup that he uses in his wood covers. Um, and so I, I, I was making stack J pickups. Um, I didn't really care for the way they sounded. The output was a little bit low. And they sounded pretty good, but the output was low, and there were there were other things that I wasn't super happy with. Um, so I was trying to figure out what to do with all that space. Um, and I still wanted to have some hum canceling. So <laughs> it was one of those ideas that came to me in the shower. And standing there, doing the shower thing and it was like a strike of lightning hit me what if i take these two pole pieces per string and i rotate them 45 degrees like this then i'll have a much fatter coil you can see how much fatter that coil is you know it really it's a third again as wide um and then I'll fill up that pickup. I'll fill up that cover. See, okay, now I'm actually using the space that I got there much more effectively than if I just put a J coil in there. So, couldn't finish the shower fast enough, get down to the laser machine, sit there in the computer and start rotating the pole pieces. Um, the first thing I did was the fat stack. That was the first pickup that had that configuration. I don't have one of those sitting here, but it's basically, you know, imagine another piece of fiber in between there. It has to have longer pole pieces. And so then you got two coils, one on top of another. Again, it had the same problem that the stack J pickups had, which was a low output in, in, in hum canceling mode. In single coil mode, they sounded fantastic. Um, a lot of guys really would prefer to use them in single coil mode and then use the hum canceling mode as a band-aid if they needed it. Um, so, so that's literally how that happened. It was big cover, how do I fill it, angle the pole pieces, oh, let's try this. And then I made some pickups and I plugged them in and I thought, wow, these have so much. Um, a couple years after I started making and selling those and started getting some attention for them, I had a, a, a mechanical engineer come by and he, come to the shop for some base stuff and he said yeah you know those pole pieces exhibit little tiny levering effects on the strings and because they're offset it's an it's an asymmetrical effect on the string so I think what it does is it captures a richer more complex tone uh, that's fuller and yet not dark or, or overly thick they're still really open and clear but they have this really broad lush full harmonically rich character to them and, you know, that's kind of unique in, in our industry. And, I mean, it really is, I had no idea at the time how big of a deal this would become. I mean, this is kind of my, it was really what we're known for now is the angled pole pieces. That's the original idea that's really connected with us um, to the degree that now, you know, we sell the most, the, the pickup we sell the most of is 
the pickups we make for Ibanez that are big singles. That's by far the largest volume thing that we make. Uh, below that, probably the NJ4s, and we started getting into some of the other J stuff. So um, it's become iconic f for, you know, as a representative of what we do. Um, the new CND pickups that Ibanez is putting in their, um, their mid-level price range, SR bases. They have a, a P pickup that has the angled pole pieces, a P style, and then a, a big single style pickup in the bridge. So it's a PJ set um, based on this angled pole piece thing. So um, I had no idea that it would take me this far and, and change my life so dramatically. So, and it's allowed a lot of cool stuff to happen here. So we're, we're grateful and I'm so grateful for that flash of inspiration that I had. Uh, geez, 11, 11 plus years ago now. So, so that's just a little bit of a background as to how the big single and the fat stack and then consequently the NP5 and anything that we make that has angled pole pieces in it now. It's, it all comes from that, that one moment. So I'm, I'm glad people like them. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm.